Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. It is a hot as hell Thursday morning and a coffee kind of morning. I don't know why I'm drinking hot coffee on a, on a hot day like today. Um, we had a bit of rain yesterday, like 10 minutes. Just came down like a bat out of hell. And then it dried up and the sun came out and just burned everything again. Uh, hopefully today's not going to be the same. Hopefully we get some substantial rain to cool this humidity down. <clears throat> it's been brutal uh, here in Belleville, Ontario, Canada. Hopefully you guys are cool and safe and um, not being affected by the heat too much. I know it's it's affecting a lot of people with fires and all kinds of stuff. It's terrible, terrible stuff. But, uh, and I hate to complain in the summertime about about the heat because I know what's happening in the next few months here. But um, anyway, um, I'm going to continue my A to Z. We're almost finished, almost to the end. Should finish, should wrap up uh, maybe by the weekend. Uh, I'm gonna do U and B together. I don't have enough of each to create one big video. So I'm gonna do put them together here. Uh, before I get into everything though, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. It's because of you guys, your likes, your subscriptions, your wonderful, wonderful comments. They keep me going, keep me motivated to do this kind of thing. And I love it and I love you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's get into it here. So a band that uh, doesn't get talked about too much, um, but they deserve to be for sure, in my opinion anyway. Uh, it's you 2 This is The Unforgettable Fire. Wonderful, wonderful album. You've got uh, Pride in the Name of Love, The Unforgettable Fire, 4th of July, um, Elvis Presley in America, MLK. Great, great album. <clears throat> Bono, Sting, uh, sorry, Sting. <laughs> Bono, why did I say Sting? Man, it's the heat. Bono and The Edge. <laughs> the Edge, of course, that, that unique uh, guitar style. Um, another favorite of mine. This is U2 and War. I love that cover. I love it. Uh, Sunday, Sunday, Bloody Sunday. New Year's Day. Um, two Hearts Beat is one. Uh, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Then you have Octon Baby. Um, more of a, uh, a later disco-y release, um, but, uh, still a good album, just the same. Um, a classic, The Joshua Tree. It's a fine album. Uh, really, really good. <clears throat> uh, Red Mining Town is great. In God's Country. I love that. Love that. Yeah, it's a good album. Good, good album. I can put it back in the sleeve here. Man. I'll tell you the heat. There we go. Um, I remember seeing the movie of this when it came out. This is Rattle and Hum, the classic, um, When Love Comes to Town, Angel of Harlem, Love Rescue Me, um, you know, you got B.B. King on here, um, Helter Skelter, they do a great version of Helter Skelter, uh, Desire, All on the Watchtower, still haven't found what I'm looking for, uh, Silver and Gold. Bullet the Blue Sky, one of my favorites. Um, yeah. Good, good stuff. There's Mr. BB there. Right in the middle. It's a great album. Great, great album. Um, the UK, uh, basically a super group. Um, You've got uh, John Wetton, bassist, uh, vocalist, and uh, drummer Bill Bruford, uh, both from King Crimson, on here. 
you've got violinist and keyboardist Eddie Jobson, and um, who played with Frank Zappa, Jethro Tull, uh, Roxy Music, and you got guitarist Alan Holdsworth, um, who is no slouch in his own right, but great UK. This is Danger Money. Um, progressive Rock, Rock. Um, this is uh, self-titled uh, UK. And you got um, Utopia with Todd Rundgren. Uh, this is Raw. Love that cover. Um, this is Obliv uh, Oblivion. Yeah, Oblivion. And Adventures in Utopia. This one has uh, Todd Grundren, Roger Powell, Kasim Sal uh, Sultan, and John Wilcox. Kind of a newer, newer lineup, but the same Todd Rundgren. Uh, great UFO. Uh, love these guys. Um, uh, hard rock band. Um, hard rock, space rock, progressive rock. Um, from London. Uh, featuring Michael Shanker. Um, this is uh, The Wild and Willing and the Innocent. Uh, no Place to Run. I love this cover as well. Uh, this is uh, Misdemeanor. So innocent looking. <laughs> Uh, great Canadian band, Urgent, uh, from Toronto. Not to be uh, confused with uh, uh, another band from New York uh, under the same name. Great uh, rock band. Um, this is Urgent. Picked that one up, uh, oh, I don't know, six months ago, I guess. i uh, got to get back into listening again. Uh, it's a trio. Um, this is a promo copy as well. There's the guys there. Gotta listen to this one again. It's been a while since I've listened to this one. Urgent. And under the use, the great Uriah Heap. This is Return to Fantasy. Great hard rock band. This is Sweet Freedom. Love this album. Um, Look at Yourself. Demons and Wizards. Classic album of theirs. And uh, I've got two copies of uh, uh, self-titled Uriah Heap. One's on the Mercury label, kind of a purplish cover. And more of a black cover on the uh, different Mercury label. I think the first one I showed you was an original. But uh, love this album, love it. Um, so that's it for the use. As I said, it, would, it uh, didn't take too long to go through those. Um, this is the only album I have um, of this gentleman, and I need to get more, obviously, because he's got, I don't know how many albums, studio, 30-some studio albums. Uh, this was VCLT from the, uh, the great Glenn Calloway. This is his 26th uh, studio album from Northern Ireland, uh, the great Man Morrison, and uh, this is The Healing Game. Of course, an older version of Van Morrison. But uh, wonderful, wonderful vocalist. Great album. Great, great album. 
uh, from Montreal. Uh, another uh, no slouch of a singer uh, for sure. This is uh, Gino Vanelli and Brother to Brother. Great Canadian singer. Um, I just want to stop the big pop rhythm and blues hit for this guy. Um, yeah, it's really good. Really, really good. Gino Vanelli. How about some straight ahead heavy rock and roll? This is Vanilla Fudge and Rock and Roll. It's on the Atco label. Great heavy, heavy stuff. Um, this is um, this is Kenny Vance. Uh, this is his debut album. Uh, great pop and uh, rhythm and blues. Um, this is Vance Thirty Two. This is part of a package that I bought off a friend of mine. Um, never heard this guy before, but uh, yeah, really good. Advanced 32. The great Stevie Ray, and I've got to get more of his albums for sure. This is uh, uh, a one fine album in, uh, the Tex in Texas Flood. Um, this is an amazing... What an amazing blues guitarist. I had a chance to see him. So it was... Uh, Jeff Healy, Jeff Beck, and then Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, just what a remarkable show. I'll never forget that one. Three wonderful guitarists, different in their own right. Jeff Healy and, and uh, Stevie Ray became good friends. Uh, unfortunately, neither is with us anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, remarkable, remarkable guitarist. And finally, the great Van Halen. Um, from this box set, uh, their first uh, six studio albums. You've got um, yes, I don't have them in order here. <laughs> of course, you've got Van Halen one. Uh, what can you say about Van Halen one? Remark remarkable. I saw. I think I saw these guys too on this tour in Toronto. Uh, and then you got Van Halen two. Um, Women and Children first. One of my favorites. And then you got uh, Fair Warning. Another favorite of mine. Diver Down, and the classic 1984. Great box set. I mean, it's got anything and everything you need and want from Van Halen. Um, remarkable stuff. I also have on vinyl one... And two. And then uh, from Van Hagar, two copies of OU812. I don't know why I have two copies of that, but I do. With Sammy Hagar, of course. You have Balance. Um, for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. So yeah, love my Van Halen. Uh, obviously, uh, Sammy made them more commercially successful. Um, more rock um, station oriented. Um, you know, top 40 hits type of thing. But it took the edge away, I believe. Uh, although I love Sammy Hagar's voice, I love his solo albums. <clears throat> um, he took the edge off. Uh, David Lee Roth, as weird as he is as a as a uh, person, amazing frontman. I mean, this guy you know jumps ten feet in the air, does splits. Um, amazing frontman for sure. And uh, they were harder and edgier uh, back in the day for sure on those first 
uh, six studio albums. Um, you know, then egos get in the way, drugs get in the way, everything else gets in the way. Um, bands change um, to keep up with the times. So I go between both. I mean, there were some good moments with the Sandy Hagar version, but I think uh, the edgier and, and the more favorite of mine is the, uh, is the David Lee Roth era for sure. But there you have it, guys. There's U and V. I'll probably head up uh, the W's uh, tomorrow. Um, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any um, X's that I can think of. So uh, Y is probably going to be Saturday, and Z is probably going to be Sunday, and wrap it all up. So, anyway, take care. Love you all. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon.